Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be a very quick uh, short video on the restoration of the inner fender wells uh, to my 69 Camaro Z28 restoration project. So uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, I need to get the car out of this uh, body shop uh, where I had all the paint and body work done. Um, they're closed during the lockdown and, and I need to get the car out of there. So anyway, I uh, um, is going to just do again this very short video on, on the restoration here of these inner fender wells, which I think are a very important uh, element of the restoration. Um, you know, it's the first thing you see when you open the hood. So uh, and I, you know, the, these were in fairly rough shape. They you know, they had surface rust on them. The, the, the one on the right side where the battery is was pretty corroded underneath where the battery goes. And, uh, but I, you know, I have a real problem with buying the reproduction ones because, you know, they're not exactly right. And the holes are not there for the staples, uh, you know, for the for the little uh, fabric flaps that go around the suspension and so on. So I wanted to retain the original inner fender wells. And <clears throat> these were, you know, these had your typical undercoating on them and so on. And uh, in this scene, I'm removing the staples uh, for the uh, for the suspension covers um, because I want to retain uh, the original holes there. But anyway, on the reproduction ones, you don't get the holes, so you'd have to re-staple uh, through, and that would be a little difficult. So, And and these weren't completely wasted. So uh, as you can see there, there's lost surface rust and so on and undercoating. And I actually spent two and a half days cleaning these up and getting them uh, prepared for paint. But I think they turned out really nice but uh, as you can see there I'm using a DA sander to get all the undercoating off and so on which was just really a grueling task but uh, it came off fairly easily but it's very dirty you know grimy process so I was really happy I was able to get this done but as you can see here the uh, um, it, it's not a fun job so uh, anyway, I just wanted to show, you know, the whole process of, of doing this. And if you have a set of inner fender wells that aren't really completely uh, rusted through and so on, uh, they are savable if you spend a little bit of time on it. So just let the video run here. And, and I'm not going to show the, the priming and painting process like I did on the, uh, on the other stuff. It's pretty much all the same process. I pulled it into the paint shop and, and uh, we used the air gun on it this time, unlike the subframe where I rattle canned it. But, you know, everything turned out really nice and I'm very happy with the end result of these inner fender wheels. They turned out really nice. They're pitted in some of those really bad rusted areas, but a lot of that stuff is, is not that noticeable when you open the hood. The main body of the fender wheel, as you see here, uh, were still in pretty, really nice shape. So it's only down low in the hidden areas where the rust was really bad. And I did get most of that off and then coated it with the uh, rust inhibitors and stuff like that. So coming up here, you'll see the end product. And uh, I'm very, very happy with the way these turned out. So here they are, all finished, primed, rust uh, treated, and painted with the correct 30% uh, semi-gloss black that the factory used. And they turned out really nice. So, so now that these are done, uh, I can start getting the front end of the car back together again. And I'll be doing a set of videos on that.
And on this painting tree here, you'll see the other parts also that I did at the same time, the, the cross braces and a couple of the other brackets and so on that bolt on to the inner fender wells. So like I said, you can see they turned out really nice and I'm very happy that I spent the time and effort to do it rather than buy the reproduction ones, which are very, very nice, especially the AMD ones. But still, there's nothing like original sheet metal, which I'm trying to retain the most that I can on this car. So that's it for this video. And again, uh, it's a short one, but I thought it was pretty important. So uh, as usual, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe, like and share. It helps support the channel and I appreciate um, appreciate it and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.